All right, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you guys an amazing mid ladder deck. This deck is awesome for pushing mid ladder because it utilizes both hog rider and mortar. Um, one of the nice things about this deck is also you can use a ton of different evils. You can run evil knight, you can run uh, evil mortar, or you can run evil firecracker. And it also doesn't use a champion, so it's really easy to level, or I should say easy-ish to level depending on you know the cards you have because supercell obviously makes life difficult for all of us but it's a really good deck and i figured i'd show you guys it because there's just so many options with it and you know i love to give you guys those types of options now we're going to be up against giant skeleton healer i mean what better to be up against when you're playing a challenge but something like that so we'll just we'll just use our one elixir skeletons we might have to play a mortar right here just to kind of pull that healer no big deal nothing too crazy we should get a shot off now when you're playing this deck uh, you do want to kind of pay attention to your elixir amount because playing defense can be a challenge But with that comes a really quick cycle and the ability to pressure with your hog rider now He's gonna go for the king tower activation. He must be watching Benny Royale or something because that uh, That is something that uh, I preach so you know that's got to come from Benny Royale No, I'm just joking But you'll see here I have a decent amount of elixir and if you're gonna go for a push with this deck He goes for the giant skeleton. So I'm just gonna do this hog rider evil firecracker that should be tower on the left side. If not, it's going to be a ton of damage. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is just because... Oh my goodness, he has evil skeletons, guys. Red flag, red flag, pause. Um, okay, well, if he didn't have evil skeletons, he would have been done there. Um, he's going to go for the Mike Monk. This is actually going to be... You know what? Actually, we really lucked out that he used the ability there. That could have been a really tough push to deal with, but I think we'll be okay. We'll play our skeletons up here. Then we'll just play our Firecracker. He's going to really pressure now. He doesn't have the Monk ability, though. We'll let that Monk get one shot on our tower. Let's just play the Knight up high. And that should be a pretty easy defense. We can log this just to kind of stack it up there. Uh, we'll play our Skeletons here as well. And now we can go for our Mortar. That's the really nice thing, is you can Mortar. And he's going to have to play Defensive Card, and he plays the Giant Skeleton, which is not going to defend our Hog Rider very well. Now we can start stacking up the Firecrackers to really support the Mortar. And honestly, like this is just a perfect example of how strong this deck is offensively. You know, you can really stack up your pushes, you can get the firecrackers going. Firecrackers making a bit of a comeback in the meta. It's great for mid ladder. Uh, the hog rider just counters everything. I mean, I feel like everybody hates playing against hog riders, so why not join the, uh, the thing you hate and run it? And we're going to get a really good game for this first match. I'll do another one here and kind of explain my logic with this deck. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I love all of you, and we'll see you in the next matchup. Alright guys, leave a comment and let me know if you're still watching. I'm, I'm curious to see how far you guys have been watching. And uh, if you are watching, let me know what you think about the new format of the videos. I'm trying out a different format. For all I know, it's going to look the exact same. I honestly don't know anything about YouTube or, you know, the technical stuff. So just let me know. He's going to go for a Mega Knight here. This is like the most cancer deck I can think of to play against. Let's go for the Ice Spirit to freeze. Now, when I'm defending, my main goal here is to get the Knight in front and the, uh, the Firecracker in the back. It's very similar to when I'm playing with Mortar Bait, and then after defending, I'm going for the counter push with the Hog Rider. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is a tough deck to get used to at the start sometimes, uh, because you do have to play it very different to, you know, a lot of decks that you might have, because it's so offense-driven. However, it is so worth it if you can get it down. That's unfortunate that the Firecracker didn't get a shot off. I'm going to have to play a Knight here. Now, I'm just going to save Elixir, because I know that he has Mega Knight, and it's going to be really annoying to defend. So if he goes for that Mega Knight there, I'm honestly probably going to play my Mortar here to stop the Mega Knight from jumping and playing my Firecracker back here to support. He isn't going to play the Mega Knight, so I'm going to try to cycle as fast as I can because that's really important. I'm now back to my Hog Rider. If he goes for a Mega Knight in the back to start a slow push, I'll literally just drop a Hog Rider opposite lane. He's not playing anything. He's wasting Elixir, so I'm going to go for a Hog Rider same lane. I'm already back to my Knight. It's pretty easy to deal with. I really hope he didn't give up already. That would be so boring. Um... Let's let's wait and see what he what he goes for. I'll go for the mortar opposite lane, but he either lagged out or he gave up. Um, come on, man, you can never give up, especially when you're playing against me. Like I'm prone to choking. Okay, I think he gave up. One of the things I'm kind of paying attention to is just what what uh what can I play that's not gonna get me three crown because I played it. Now that sounds simple, but it's actually really hard to do sometimes. Um, now another thing with this deck is it's it's kind of like Hog Cycle, but it's without the Tesla. It's running Mortar instead. So what that means is you have to be very, very smart about how you play your cards because you can get stuck with a really bad cycle. 
I'm gonna play my firecracker here because he's gonna shoot the little prince and then hopefully help out with the bandit. I'm gonna play my ice spirit in front of the firecracker so the bandit doesn't charge onto my firecracker. Honestly, flawless defense. Let's go for the hog rider now. That's the amazing thing about this deck. You can defend and then get a really nice counter push going. He goes for the archers and the king tower activation, but I'm gonna get so much damage because of this hog rider. It's gonna be really hard for him to come back from this. Honestly, this is kind of what, I, what I'm trying to say when I say this is a great mid-ladder deck because you're running Mortar, which I know all of you love, but at the same time, you can run that beautiful Hog Rider. We get the Mortar going. We're firing on all cylinders now. And it's just the offense of this deck is ridiculous. It's, it's so strong. We're going we're gonna to take that tower, I think, or get it very low at the very least. He's going to go for a Battle Ram, Obsidian. I'm going to play my Skeletons here. The Bandit gets a charge. That's okay. Let's just freeze this Battle Ram. Play the Knight. We don't have to worry about that little prince. We take a little bit of damage there. Honestly, we probably could have defended it better, but I was just so excited talking to you guys about how amazing this deck is. Now, I'm not going to go for a Hog Rider yet because I, if he has something like anything tough, even if he played a Royal Ghost, I'd be in a tough position to defend. So all I'm going to probably do here is I'm going to cycle my log. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm stuck with two cycles right now or two spells, sorry. So I'm just going to cycle the log. He's going to try to build a push on that right side. So I'm going to play my Hog Rider on the left. Now he's going to... Okay, he's going to drop the P.E.K.K.A. there. There's the uh, Evo Archers. So I'm going to play my Knight here. And I am going to play a Defensive Mortar. Now hopefully the Evolved Firecracker can get down those Evo Archers. Uh, if not, our Mortar does not. But our Mortar does. We're going to wait to play another Firecracker because he has that Poison down. Let's pull everything up high using our Ice Spirit. And then let's play our Firecracker here. We just play the Skeletons right here. We're back to the Mortar. We're going to use it defensively. That's kind of how you have to play it with Tesla being replaced. Let's just log all of this. We can play our Knight right here in front. We'll play our evil firecra or our Firecracker right here. Little Prince is on the tower. Not a big deal. He's not going to do a ton of damage at the start. We just log it, and that's defended. Now we're just going to play the Hog Rider on right side, but you know we could Earthquake it if we have to. And using the most amazing mid-ladder deck right now that we have, we're going to take that tower, and it's going to be an easy win. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hate Mega Knight, and I'll see you in the next one.